On the Monday after Easter, I was at home with my family in Columbus, Ohio. Everything was normal in the morning, but I was sitting in the living room watching TV when uh, my uncle came into the room. He said, just go see, just go look what he did to Debbie, my aunt. So I jumped up. As I started going down the hallway, I saw my aunt who was holding her leg and with one hand and the arm with the other. And he looked up at me as I stepped in the room and he kind of stiffened up his body a little bit. I tried to be nice. I didn't have his uh, shock collar on him that Forever Holmes had uh, said that he needed to wear as it was charging at the time. I took one step more towards him and he just started biting me. He came at me out of nowhere and just started biting me repeatedly on the arm. He got me a few times on the chest and many times on the leg. Before my uncle burst into the room, he was carrying his pistol and uh, the dog tried to come after him as well, but as the dog was about to reach him, he just pistol whipped the dog and that seemed to kind of snap him out of his uh, aggression. My uncle left to take my aunt to the hospital and uh, at that point in time, I contacted Forever Homes and told them about the incident that had happened. They kind of played it off a little bit at first. Uh, they asked me to send them pictures of my wounds and they said that it wasn't necessarily uh, a bad incident because the wounds in question were just bite and release type of bites. He didn't try and like hold and shake or anything to that nature. It's really crazy to have somebody say that an incident like that is not that bad when you're here mopping a family member's blood off of the floor. I figured it might have been a one-time incident because the dog was still uh, recently adopted and pretty new. If anything like this ever happens again though, I will have to have him euthanized, no question asked. I, I can't really risk having something else like that happen. I, I don't think that my relationship with him will ever be the same sort of, I guess, carefree way that it was when I first met him and saw what a sweet, nice dog he was, because there's still that mental image of the huge bruises I had on my arm and leg, the stitches that my aunt had to get. There's always going to be that mental image.